please don't take anything that I say too seriously. It's kind of like a bit of a ramble. Don't really have anything written out. Just kind of wanted to talk. Because that's how I started this. And although they never seem to flow too well or make much sense, I enjoy making these types of things. So yeah. Basically, my topic for this is... I'm just going to get into it, whatever. But like... We are so small in comparison to everything. Not everything, obviously, in comparison to an atom, we're rather large. But in comparison to many of things, we are irrelevant and just insanely small. So, why do some people go about their lives doing things only to please others and not make themselves happy at all. For instance, this is something that me and a friend were discussing a couple days ago on Skype and his ideas were. Say for instance, um, all your life you've been brought up, you're going to become an accountant because it will ensure Wait, oh, I'm really out of focus. Sorry, my lens is kind of dirty. Please don't mind that. But, say for instance, you were told throughout your life, be an accountant, it will offer you financial security and it will make your life a lot better. And so you go about and without making you happy or satisfied with yourself or your life or what's going on, you go and you become an accountant. I mean, that is fine if that is what you want to do and you would enjoy that. Or if, like, you have an impression into it and that is just what you do. You do that. I'm just using it as an, as an example. As maybe you don't want to do that, but you've been asked to do it and you've been forced to do it. And then. But yeah. So, say you didn't want to become an accountant and you spend your however many years going about training to become part of that profession. One day, something could just happen to you or to someone around you and those years of training and that work you've put in won't make any difference. Say for instance, you wanted to do something and you put all of those years in but you were happy while doing it, then that would mean something. I suppose what I'm trying to say is we are so small in comparison to everything. Why are we going about trying to do everything that we're supposed to do or is mandatory as a human being? So why should I want to settle for a burnt toast and cold coffee job? If you don't get that analogy, I'll kind of put my video in because it's my kind of analogy for everything for myself. And I don't want to end up like that. So why do I want to go about doing something that doesn't make me happy when at the end of the day the only people that are going to be impacted by me are the people that I impact. So when I'm lying on my deathbed I want to look back and be happy with my life and myself and most of my choices. So, logically, I know I'm not going to be happy with every single aspect of my life. I know that, that's just a human thing. We all make mistakes and we all fuck up sometimes. But I want to be able to look back at the majority of my life and think, yeah, I made myself happy. Even if that didn't necessarily please everyone around me. I'm not saying that you shouldn't make others around you happy. I'm not saying that at all. For me, I love making other people feel happy because that then radiates back to me and in turn gives me better spirits, which I love that. So if I can make people happy, I do. But what I'm saying is kind of don't do something solely to please other people and not for yourself if you don't enjoy it. So you just kind of got to keep doing you because at some point 
no one is going to remember I existed. I'm not going to go down in the history books. I'm not going to be this person that people look back to because that isn't that just isn't me and I know that isn't going to happen so I want to live life for me and the people that I care about and because one day no one's going to remember me anyway so I want to give the people that I care about something good to remember me by and for myself to look back on while I'm old and dying and thinking, yeah, I enjoyed what I did. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I wanted to say with this, really. Probably made no coherent sense. But hey, yeah, it's Luke Couple's birthday. Happy birthday, lad. Hope you're doing good. You had vegan pizza because you tweeted that. But I, I promise I don't stalk you. I, I prom- I, yeah, I do promise that, that's just weird, damn it. But yeah, um, happy birthday. Probably won't watch this, but hey, happy birthday if you do. Get on, you're 22, have you danced like you're 22 yet? Oh, I hate myself. There's only one more yet till everyone will hate you too. Okay, but, yeah, I think I'm gonna go and do something. Probably edit this and upload it. Yeah. I'm sorry if this video maybe offended anyone at all, but I'm just, I didn't quite know how to word it, but I kind of just wanted to open up and just talk, because that's what I'm good at doing, if you haven't noticed, just talking and rambling, that is what I do best. So, yeah. Have a good evening. Bye. Wait, I said evening. Maybe it might be morning or just night time. Have a good whatever it is for you. And if I hope you're doing good, if you're not, then I hope you feel good soon. So yeah. Bye. <laughs>